we know love by this. That he laid down his life for us. And we are to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this we will know that we are from the truth and we will show our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts, and He knows everything. We love it. If our hearts do not condemn us, we have borne it before God, and we receive from Him whatever we ask. We shall be obey His commandments and do what pleases Him. And this is His commandment that we should believe in the name of His Son. Jesus Christ and love one another, just as He has commanded us. All who obey His command abide in Him, and He abides in Him. And by this we know that He abides in us by the Spirit that He has given us. The Word of the Lord.
Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me, just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have the power to lay it down, and I have the power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of Christ.
throughout the gospel reading Jesus cast a contrast between himself the good shepherd and the hired hand a hired hand Jesus says does not own the sheep and does not care for the sheep but for the good shepherd the sheep are the goal and the reason for everything the shepherd does the hired hand punches the clock and show up to receive his or her wages and when the ship is over takes off and if it gets too difficult too scary or too wolfy the hired hand takes off and runs away and probably <clears throat> many of us can tell a story about a hired hand in our life someone who when you needed him or her run out and left you. Who have been the hired hands in your life? Here, Jesus is speaking to both his own disciples and opponents, including the Pharisees. The hired hand who does the sacrifice for the sheep, rather sacrifices the sheep for his own sake. But just just who is this hired hand? Of course, we first of all think of the original enemy, the devil himself. He who slithers into, the, into Eden and stole away the Lord, the holiness of Adam and Eve, who handed it over willingly. He who would steal away any of the sheep, if he could, from the flock of God's people. But it could also include any false prophet or false teacher who seeks to lead the sheep astray. Anyone who is not pointing you to the Good Shepherd and speaking the word of the Good Shepherd leads you only to danger and destruction. And there is danger in the field. There is a wolf out there. Sometimes he comes in sheep clothing. Sometimes he comes as a serpent. Sometimes a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. He is the ancient enemy, the devil. And that devil means also the adversary. He wants to snatch the sheep and scatter the flock. He wants to destroy our faith and isolate us from each other. Do you feel that danger? Sheep often can't. Sheep need the guidance of the Good Shepherd. They need a staff to guide and direct them. We need that carbon law, but also to be shown our wandering ways. God's law judges us rightly as lost sheep, people who lost, so lost and hopeless in our sins that we have no future but death. And sheep are needy, incapable of caring for themselves. We as sinners too are incapable of solving our own spiritual dilemma. We will always wander away into danger and death. Were it not for the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd ways, Shepherd's ways to rescue the sheep is not simply to lead the way. It is not simply, it is not that he simply calls us to follow our worst, brutally hurt us into a pen. Our Good Shepherd is good, is kind mm -hmm. and loving. He comes to rescue us, and here is how. First, he knows us. A good shepherd knows each and every one of his sheep. He knows you. Jesus doesn't forget you or ignore you. He isn't your part-time savior. Only day when you need him. Unless you realize you needed him at all times. He knows you better than you know yourself. He knows the number of hair on your head. He knows your weakness. 
He knows your temptation. He knows your suffering. I know my sheep, he says. Second, he cares for us. It may not always seem so. It may seem he is making your life miserable, or at least allowing it to be. It may seem like it's just words, 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 and that he is as distant and absent as the devil wants us to believe. But his promise stands for, he says, I am with you always. And if you ever doubt his love and caring, you only need to look to the cross. There he shows his love in the biggest and the best way. Finally, the most and most importantly, the Good Shepherd rescues the sheep by laying down his life. This is so important that Jesus says this three times in the passage. And what a strange and wonderful thing it is that a shepherd will die for a sheep. But the scripture says, greater love has no man than that he laid down his life for his friends. And greater still that he laid down for us when we are his enemies. And as helpless and hopeless as the poor lost sheep are dirty, injured, Bleating out the walls in the ditch of our own making, Jesus laid down his life for ours. The Good Shepherd is also the perfect Lamb, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, the Lamb seen in the foreshadowing of the Passover, a perfect male Lamb whose blood marked the doors of the Israelites' home and chased away the destroyer. So too, the blood of Christ was the enemy of his sheep, that howling wolf who will have us. Death destroyed by death. Victimhood aborted by the perfect victim. The blood of the Lamb covers the sin that will deny us entry into the paradise the pastures of paradise. The blood of the Lamb sustains us along with his body given for us. The blood of the Lamb forgave our sins, gave us life and salvation. And then there is the flock, comprised of many sheep from many other fold. But all with the same great, one great, Good Shepherd, all whom he knows and who knows him, all who hear his voice and listen to him, the church, the people who are known by Christ, the people who belong to him, claim as his own in holy baptism, the people who gather on his voice, his words, and listen. it. The people for whom he laid on his life and who believe and trust in him. You and I are of that one flock of sheep for whom the shepherd died. You and I are known and cared for by the good shepherd. So today, be a sheep. Trust in the good shepherd, Jesus Christ. He openly and freely gives you all the blessings won by this cross and resurrection. He speaks to you even today with a voice that you know, a voice that forgives sins and therefore brings abundant life. Tune out the stranger's voice and fear not the adversary the devil. You belong to the Good Shepherd. You will lead, who will lead you to lush valley and still waters? Who will prepare a feast before your enemies and anoint your head with oil while your cup overflows? And you, their sheep, will dwell in the house of the Lord forever 
in Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
comfort and heal all of those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We commend it to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with all our saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, Rule of all things in heaven and earth. Mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Page 123. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God, using Form A. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another, in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left and done. We are sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name.
shot this. Greetings, clergy study reflection. This is a kindly reminder of the Easter clergy study reflection scheduled for 9.30 a.m. Monday, 22nd April, 2024 by Zoom. It begins with morning prayer. The topic is women in administrative leadership, threat or asset. The presenter, the Reverend Eleanor Glasgow Lee. The next one is scheduled for Michael Mass, Monday 30th, September 2024. 20, we need a presenter for Michael Mass. I invite you to select a topic of your choice and inform me so I may fix a date for you to present. The study reflection will be held three times a year, Advent, Easter, and Michael Mass. Please put the dates and times above in your diary. Blessings and peace, sincerely, the right to reverend Sidney Opole, Friday, the Bishop of the Wigod Islands. And the next one, greetings, preaching assignment. The Venerable Christian Glasgow, Rector of the Holy Trinity Parish Church, Cash Street, with St. Mary, Lakai, and Archdeacon of St. Lucia, has been invited to be the preacher at the parish of St. George with St. Mark Antigua Patronal Festival as they celebrate their 336th anniversary. We pray God's guidance on him as he travels to fulfill this preaching assignment. Trip to Karakou. As part of the activities to mark the 60th anniversary of Bishop's College, Kingston, 19 adults, parents and teachers, and 47 students are scheduled to journey to Karakou this Thursday 18th April 2024 on the MV Jetstar. They will be the guests of Bishop's College Karakou, who are also celebrating their 60th anniversary this year as well. And they hope to visit Bishop's College Kingston later this year. We pray for traffic mercies and that they may initiate lasting and meaningful relationships. New Ministry Institution. The service of institution of the Reverend Kiba Alisa Coffey as parish, as priest in charge of the St. John's Parish Church, with St. Mark, Victoria, St. Matthew, Blackway and the Epiphany Mount Grand Beach Grenada is scheduled for 5 p.m. on Thursday, 25th April 2024, being the Feast of St. Mark. The 10th Archbishop, Archbishop Michael Mass, Archbishop Michael Mass, Archbishop Michael Mass, Yes. 
Washington Superintendent. Before he departed from the RSVGPF, Mr. Ballon headed the Legal Research and Policy Unit. During his time in the Royal Trinitan Grand Police Force, he obtained a Bachelor of Laws degree with honors from the University of the West Indies Caribbean Campus in Barbados. He then attended the New Holding Law School in Trinidad and Tobago, where he graduated with a legal education certificate. He was admitted to practice as a barrister and solicitor in the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court in Timbinton and the Grenadine Circuit on October 10, 2016. Mr. Ballon now serves as a district magistrate in our blessed state of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Mr. Ballon loves playing basketball and assisted the RSPG PF in starting the basketball team. He also lent his skills to Mr. Wayne Williams and your basketball camp. Above all else, Mr. Ballon is a proud Christian who tries his best to ensure his walk with the Lord is scripted. And finally, the numbers for the last week, last Sunday, so this I said there is the attendance was 37 communicants, 30, and the collection $721.25. I told you cross the attendance was 33, communicants 23, and the collection
Sarah, that we may ever hold better day and hear us. Amen. Amen.